he talked about the Lord, the more you talk about the love of the Lord, the more people are drawn in. He said, if I be lifted yep. up, I'll draw all men unto me. And so when you keep lifting up the Lord, he keeps drawing all men unto you. He keeps making your ministry get, get bigger. But if you sit there and you go idle all the time, then guess what? You're not doing nothing else but feeding self all the time. And that's selfish. God doesn't want us to be selfish. God wants us to get up and do something for him. He wants us to act boldly. Go, go boldly before the throne and ask for those miracles from people. Don't be afraid to ask God for, for life back into somebody that's dead. Don't be afraid to, to ask God for healing for somebody. Don't be afraid to do something for the Lord, but step out by faith. We just step out by faith and we move forward. Amen. Because Amen. greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. Hallelujah. We know Amen. in whom we know in whom we, we trust. We trust in God Almighty. Amen. Praise yes. Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I've got I've got you shared into my groups too, brother. But you know All right. it doesn't matter what they see right now, eventually they'll see the replay. And they'll see that God oh, yeah. was working. God was working through your ministry. Mm -hmm. Brother Randy's, Henry's live stream, just like the dead friend live stream. It could be Randy Henry's live stream. It could be John yeah. Perkins' live stream. It could be California Tomatoes live stream. Whatever whatever that might be the name of the person. We don't know. If everybody has different names. But whatever. If we can just get out, every one of us across America, and do live streams and read the Bible to people. Man, we're doing things by leaps and bounds because that's going into the world of preaching the gospel every preacher. Maybe you can't get out and go past the two-block area in your area, but you can do mm -hmm. that right there. When you do that right there, God is going to bless you, whether you, you bless one person or 15 people or five people. But God will Man, yeah. it for you. God will see to it that the blessings are added up for you and bestowed upon you. So feel energized about it because God wants you to do it. Amen? If you do it every other day, that's fine. If you do it every day, that's even better. That's even better. <laughs> I do it seven days a week. At, on, at, at some point, I think, well, I'm going to take, take a little time off. Then, then Brother Randy says, Dad, I want you to come on my, my, my show tonight. I need you to come on and give me a word. So I, I come on and give you the word about Elijah. Amen. And Hello, the miracle. Yeah. Praise God. Elijah and the miracle. Get yeah. excited, everybody out there. Don't you get excited about God yeah. and, and what he does, people out there? Don't you get excited about the Lord? I get excited about the Lord all, all the time when I think about God. And I think about the Man, goodness yeah. of the Lord. I think about the goodness and the gracious, mm -hmm. the graciousness and the kindness of the Lord and all the good things that God's got planned for, all, for us all. God's got so many good things planned for us. We just have to get out there and take a bite of it. He said, come and test the waters. He said, "Just he said, give give a little bit of money to the Lord. Give your, your tithes to the Lord. Test it and try it and see if, if, if I don't pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to contain it. But sometimes you've got to get out of your comfort zone. And you got to do what God says do. Some people don't want to preach on getting out of your comfort zone. Some people want to preach on all kinds of other things. They won't preach on getting out of your comfort zone. But you got to get out of your comfort zone sometimes, whether it's with the live stream or whether it's going down the road and preaching to people. You get out of your comfort zone and just go ahead and work for God and show the devil that he is a man and the father of it. Amen? And when you do things for God, God said he's going to do things for you. He yes, said, amen. He said, if you, you lift my name up, if, if you're not afraid of my name, then I won't be afraid of you. You know what I'm saying? He said, if, he said in the Bible, he says, you know, if you're, if you're, uh, if you're ashamed of me, he said, I, he said, then I'll be ashamed of you. But he said, if you're not ashamed of me, I won't be ashamed of you. Man. So don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is coming one of these days. He comes every hour for people, 24 seven, all the time. Look at all the people still and went. Let me tell you, at different ages, different things. People get jerked out of this, off this planet every single day. And God's coming for us. Mm -hmm. And he's coming for us, whether we're righteous or not. And we're going to pay for anything we ever did or spoke. If we spoke anything idle, we're going to pay for every idle word that proceeded out of the mouth of us, no matter what. God's going to ask us and say, have you have you been doing anything for me? Have you been having any kind of live streams for me? Have you been telling people up and down the road about me? Or have you been playing around? Have you been playing around with your life? And it's serious, you know. <laughs> God wants you to have a good time. Yes, God wants you to have a good time. God wants you to have a vacation, but the vacation has a, has a beginning point and an ending point. Amen? And when your, your vacation's over, get off, get back up and do what God says. Do. Even, even while you're on your vacation, lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus all the time, Monday Monday through Friday, Sunday through Saturday, whatever you want to say. Just still lift up the name of the Lord. But on the seventh day, remember to rest on the seventh, seventh day like today and open up the book and read the Word of God. And spend that alone time with God on the on the Sabbath day when you're resting. Don't do no work on the Sabbath day, but obe be obedient to the Lord. And when, when we are, God's going to cause more things to happen. God's going to cause more ravens to feed you. 
God's going to cause more things to happen with your bank accounts. God's going to have have more blessings poured out upon you because you're doing what God said to do. And when you do what God says do, the blessings will come, and the blessings will be poured out on you. He said, you know, hey man, in the last days, he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Mm -hmm. It says the word, you know, become flesh and dwelt among us. It's dwelling among us right now. It's right here right now. The Word of God is, is in the in the Bible, but when you open up the Word of God and you read it, you're exposing to a lot of fertile soil out there. It's it's sending seeds over to the fertile soil, and the fertile soil is going to grow something. There's going to be a harvest come from it. There's going to be a blessing come from it. Amen? Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen? And the Word of God is amazing. The Word of God is great, and, and it's, it's awesome. We serve an awesome God. We serve a loving God. We serve a kind God. We serve a merciful God. We serve a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Whenever God took soil and he made a man, and then he took a, a rib out of a man and he made a woman. Woman came from man. That's the reason why a man has dominion over the woman, because woman came from man is what the Bible says. A lot of people don't get that. And then they wonder sometimes why the Lord gets angry about women trying to trying to rule the earth, because they, they don't belong with ruling the earth. Man does, because God gave them the ruling and the staff to the man to the, the rule this earth. Amen. And he, Amen. You know, God blessed Moses. When you when you when I speak, when I say staff, they just remind me. You know, God, God, God seen Moses had the had the stick. He had the staff. Amen. The staff of righteousness. He they told him throw it down, and, and he threw it down. The other people uh, threw all their their staffs to their their staff down, and Moses' staff ate all the staffs up, and Moses still had his staff. Why? Because God was with him, and God is in it. God, God gets rid of all the sin, and then God gives you the blessing. Amen. God gets rid of all the problems, yeah. and then God blesses you because you're doing what God said to. You're being obedient to God, and you're you're obeying God, and God's doing everything He can to bless you because you're being being obedient. So be obedient to the Lord, and just do what God says to. Amen. Amen. Be obedient to the Lord, and God's going to pour out a blessing on you. You won't have room enough to contain. Is what the Bible says. We've got to do what God says. If we want the blessing, we've got to obey the, the Spirit of the Lord. We've got to move throughout the earth and do what the Lord says. And then guess what? There will be a bountiful harvest coming, and then he's going to bless us. And he said also, whenever you turn from your wicked ways out there and you get sin, or get the sin out of your life, then he says, guess what? You're going to be part of the blessed family, but also you're going to go to the world and preach the gospel. Yes, but still, God is going to bless you. And he said everything, you, every piece of property that you buy, God is going to bless it. He said it will have milk and honey flowing on it. Why? Because God's there. God See, whenever you're, you're doing work for God, he's got the ravens feeding you. He's got something feeding you. He's got something to cause a blessing to come to you because you're doing the work of the Lord. When you do the work of the Lord, you make the devil mad. That's all right. It doesn't matter what the devil gets mad or not. He's a liar and the father of it. For we work for the Amen. God Almighty. For God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the time of, of morning when we get up and the time of, of, of day when we go to bed. Time of night when we go to bed. God protects us 24-7. He said he puts his angels around and can camp about those that love him and fear his holy name. He also said, when I see the blood, I'll pass over. Amen. Hallelujah. So nothing can come nigh thee in thy dwelling place when you serve God. When you put the anointing, when you anoint your, your house, go around your house and anoint your house. Amen. Give it to God. Dedicate your, your house and your life to God and your temple. Put put all, That's why we put anointing oil on top of our head because we are the temple. We just anoint our temple. Amen. Amen. We anoint our temple in the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We take up communion because we eat of his body and we drink of his blood. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Spiritual blood. Amen. I'm not talking about physical blood. I'm talking about spiritual blood. Amen. Because God can take what's Amen. spiritual and make it into the natural if he wanted to. Because God took those rivers and turned them into blood a long time ago. And God can do anything. God can cause men to to bless you. God can call somebody to knock on your door and, and bring you a check for seven thousand dollars to your door. Why? Because yeah. we serve God. Ooh, we serve God. We don't serve man. We serve God. He said. He said. He told them. He says that they, they were needing to pay their tax collectors and the, and the tax bills out there. He said, "Go out there." He said, and "Catch the first fish and open up the fish's mouth." He said, "And pull out the the gold coin." And the money was right there. Why? Because God says do that. Amen. There's no trick. To that. There's no trick tricks to that at all, because God said, when we're obedient to God, God just takes care of it. 
God helps us to pay all the tax collectors. God helps us to buy a brand, brand new car, brand new truck, whatever it is. God just has, he gives us favor. When God gives us favor, no man can shut the door when God's giving you favor. God will give you favor to get good gas mileage on your car. God will give you favor to help you get a good job. God will give you favor to get you a good house. God, when you start working for the Lord, you start doing things for the Lord, Brother Randy, God's going to cause favor upon your life. Amen. That's the key right there. People say, you know, I've been sitting here for five years and ain't nothing happened. Well, have you got up and done anything for God? Or have you sat there and moaned day in and day out? Have you have you done anything for the Lord, anybody? And they say, well, not really. Well, there's your problem right there. Mm-hmm. Amen? Amen. Because he said to go in the world preach the gospel. He said to, to test him and try him. Hey, you had tested and tried him, so that's the reason why you don't have a blessing. Oh, well, that's <laughs> Some people want $5,000 handed to them. But you ain't going to get nothing until you start working for the Lord. But when you're working for the Lord, don't be surprised somebody don't go. Hello, I'm I'm Bill, and I'm, I'm going to hand you $7,000. Amen? Because you're working for the Lord. Man. Because God spoke to that person to bring it to you. Because God knows My what man. to do. God knows where to plant the seed. Because you're a temple. Remember, you're the temple. And so God said to bring it, bring it into the storehouse. We are the storehouse in a lot of ways. That's the reason why God brings it into our storehouse. He brings it to us as a blessing, but he also wants us to to put it in there and to feed and clothe the naked and the poor. Feed the poor and clothe the naked people. That's our our job in life. I know that's that's a lot of faith out there. A lot of people don't understand faith. They don't understand doing things for God like that. But let me tell you something. When you are the temple of the Lord, and he says bringing it to the storehouse, that's what he means, bringing it to the storehouse. Take it to the pastors. Mm-hmm. Take it to the people that, that can hand it out. And don't worry about it. He said, once you, you bring it to the altar, he said, turn around and leave. He said, whatever you have, if you got this CD right here, you bring this CD and you place it at the altar and you turn around and you walk away. You don't worry about it no more because you done planted your seed with God and God's going to multiply your seed. Let me tell you, you just, try, you just try multiplication with the Lord and see if God don't do something for you. You just do something one time. You, you send $10 to somebody that you don't even know. Or whatever, your church, your local church, let's just say that. Maybe you do know the local church. You send $10 to the local church. And God, don't be surprised if, if $100 don't come into your hands really quick. Because God said he'll, he'll bless you in 10 in a tenfold increments. Because God didn't write that word for nothing. His word, no, said, my word will not return to me void. My word that I'm telling you tonight will not return void. Because it's God's word. It's not our word. It's not Randy's word. It's not uh, Brother Shambach that used to be the preacher. It's not his word. Shambach is in heaven. Because guess what? Shambach did what God said to him. And then one day God mm-hmm. took Shambach home. Pastor Shambach, R.W. Shambach that everybody listened to for a long time. God took him home. And he's walking on the streets of gold right now. Because guess what? He built his heavenly treasures up in heaven. Amen. And God God blessed him. He's, he's in heaven right now. Amen. And, many Man. people, and when, when, when our work is done here on earth, God has something for us to do in heaven, so he takes us to heaven. Amen? He says, for in my Father's house are many mansions. If not, I would have told you so. Amen? Because God's about abundance. God's about replenishing our our, our, our lives and making things better. God's about blessing us because we're doing the work for the Lord. When you do the work for the Amen. Lord, you're going to be blessed. You're going to transition to the next level, and you're going to go on and do what God has, has planned for you. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Love the word. I did love the word tonight with my brother Sam. That was that was awesome and wonderful. And everybody on here heard the word, and it's it's good. I like to hear him. I like to hear him uh, preach. He Amen. Did a good job tonight. But see, God has God has a plan for our life, brother Randy. He really Amen. does. He has he has a plan for your life. He has a plan for my life. He's got a plan for everybody's life. And on, on this network is is got trillions and trillions of people on on Facebook. Has over trillions of people. Probably don't tell how many. Mm-hmm. And, and and you think you think that this you and I can reach everybody? No, everybody on here's got to do their part so we can reach more people. Everybody's mm-hmm. got to do their part. Amen. Facebook lets it go out to a lot a lot of other people. Amen. Because we we got to yep. reach the world. We got to we got to spread the gospel while we have time because there's more people coming up every day. There's more babies being born and there's more people that's graduating from school and, and different things and, and they're becoming 12 and 13 years old and they need to know about God because they're walking through a teenager Amen. stage. Teenager stage is is a is a dangerous time for somebody to walk some sometimes you know because they yeah it's it's at that point where you're at the fork of the in the road you're at the fork in the road when you become 13 14 years old are you going to do right or are you going to do wrong which which way but if god mm-hmm. puts a calling on our life to, to preach then we must go and do what god we, we must go and fulfill 
the work of the Lord because God has a blessing and plan for you, your life, and my life. Amen. Amen. So God's going to say, what, what have you been doing all these years? What have you been doing? You've been sitting on retired retirement checks, everybody? Or are you going to get up and do what I said do? So just get up and do what God says do. If it's, I don't care if it's popular with your family. I don't care if it's popular with your wife. I don't care if it's popular with anybody. If we just do what God says do, then he's going to hand us a blessing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's been good to come uh, tonight. Brother, i got to get off my mom's holiday of it, but it's been good to come on here tonight and, and have a word with tonight and uh, share, uh, share the broadcast and, and uh, save this, this video here and let it share out. But anyway, God bless everybody. Y'all have a good night. Be blessed. Remember, let everything have breath. Praise the Lord. You've been watching. This has been a, a live uh, Randy Henry Randy Henry's live stream, and I've got to come on as a guest and speak tonight. And so did Brother Sam Pasalikwa, and we enjoyed the music tonight. We're going to do some more of that, and so we're looking forward to that. God bless each and every one of you, and may God keep you safe out there. Just keep on doing what God says do, and I believe that God's going to help you no matter what. Bye-bye.